News Post of MGTV. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Gentlemen of the press, as I have always stated, the Federal Operations Unit Zone A is sustaining its resolve to protect the Nigeria's economy by enforcing anti smuggling laws in a non compromising manner. Just as intelligence reports gathered over the years indicated a higher degree of desperation by economic saboteurs to smuggle during the Yuletide period. While noting this challenge, we have fully deployed the improved logistics supplied by the Comptroller General of Customs, Bashir Adewale Adeniyi, MFR, and the management of the Nigeria Customs. The support provided for our officers with strategic manpower placement to achieve our ongoing drive to suppress smuggling. Our reviewed strategies have been playing off as reflected in decisions recently made by the Federal Operations Unit Zone A for the month of October 2023. We shall sustain our efforts towards deploying these strategies continuously before reeling out the list of seizures, which amounts to 1 billion 241 million 777,700 in duty paid value, that is DPV. I want to state that this unit of the service, under my watch, will make the remaining part of 2023 and beyond tough for smugglers in the interest of our country. We are ready to intercept them and frustrate their antics of concealment. Illegal route passage, first declaration and under declaration. In addition, we are also determined to implement all the provisions of Nigeria Customs Service Act 2023, including the various penalties attached to offenses while striving to ensure that perpetrators face the full wrath of the law. In our continuous quest, to prevent revenue loss through various infractions, such as undervaluation, underpayment, and wrong classification, the sum of 115 million, 456,534 naira 94 kobo was collected following the issuance of demand notices to defaulters. Rice has been a recurring commodity in our list of seizures across various borders in the southwest zone. We are able to seize a total of 7,381 units of 50 kg foreign parboy rice from smugglers. This amounts to almost 13 trailer loads of rice within one month. A total of 17 vehicles were also seized from smugglers who wanted to circumvent the law by evading duty payment. For avoidance of doubt, let me state again that the ban on vehicle importation through the land border subsists. Our officers also intercepted 593 jerrycans about 14,825 liters of premium motor spirit. Because of the volatility of this product, we have safely disposed them in line with the laid down due process. Other seizures include 657 pieces of used tires, 202 kg parcels of cannabis sativa, otherwise known as India hemp. 39 bales of second-hand clothing, 100 packs of tomato ketchup, four units of used motorcycle, 100 cartons of gift soap, and 730 sacks of ice and skin hidden in one by 40 foot container. 
this container was being trailed upon intelligence. The officer will explain to you. This is the arresting officer, A.O. Igunjobi. And we have over 5,033 pieces of donkey skin. Where well, we are still talking of not eliminating our animals. They are part of the system, but they are gradually going into extinction. Now, this thing is on a very, very strong intelligence. They are coming from the far north, and we have to follow them right from there, from Tafa in Kaduna State. So they used to carry them in a small bus, so when they get to a warehouse, they will go and drop it there. Then at the end of the day, they put inside a very, this uh, container. Then from there, we trade them up to this place in Ibadan. Then they come back to Lagos, say so we trade them at Onigari in uh, along Lagos, Abekuta, and Lagos Ibadan Express Road. So, and this thing was, uh, is almost about 730 bags of uh, hide and skin, which is against the uh, wild, uh, wildlife, and it's a prohibition. And anybody that's been arrested for it is liable to prosecution. So this thing is almost about 5,033 pieces of life, of wildlife, of uh, donkey skin. And that means almost about 5,033 uh, donkey, donkey have been killed, which is very bad for our destiny. Under ban, absolute prohibition. This is not allowed into the country because it's been used and overused before being imported into Nigeria. Second-hand tires has its effect, attendant effect. Attendant effect, like one, it causes accident. You see someone buying this, you may not be able to identify whether you are buying winter or summer tire. And when you use it at the time that you ought not to use it, it will blow off. So we are using this medium to tell Nigerians to stop patronizing these people selling used tires. All what you just mentioned are all under prohibition. And if we get them, we have been making arrests. Even very recently, we had to go on, a, on an operation with our intelligence and some people were arrested on the pangolin scale. We still have them in our custody and at the appropriate time, we are going to charge them to court. No, it's intelligence. When you say intelligence, it does not really matter whether it should be your command or not. You gather intelligence, you have informants. You know, there are different types of informants. We have genuine informants. We have patriotic informants. We have informants that are for money, like that. So in this case, I'm sure he dealt with an, a patriotic Nigerian who is desirous to stop the tide of the exportation of this thing. Use network to fight network. It is a question of collaboration and cooperation. Cooperation in the sense that countries that we import from and those of us that are receiving from them, there has to be absolute cooperation and collaboration to ensure that illicit items are not brought into Nigeria, into the country. About 30 countries attended that conference, and Nigeria happens to be the only African country there. Out of all the 30, only Nigeria. And you can see the grace we have. We are, Nigeria is a blessed country, well recognized, and by the time when our position paper was being presented, there was palpable silence because of the fact we were reeling out for the world to know. So now, coming back home, it is important we get the stakeholders, those that are working together. We have to synergize. They are literally, literally talking about synergy. And where you do not synergize, 
Can you clap with one hand? It's not possible. You need the two hands to clap for it to have a resounding. Thank you.